All right, yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel. Sports 7GH, it's always a great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying. We are bringing you the very latest news um, around Ghana football. Or happening in Ghana football in this particular video. Do want to subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, and select or leave your thoughts, comments below. In the comment section if you have any talk it's a great pleasure to have you join us we are just going straight to the issues without any introduction yeah now in the morning we came to tell you that david odro will be training with the fc barcelona first team and indeed he trained with the first team of fc barcelona this guy i don't know how he's feeling though Charlie, hey. Masa, just some six months ago you were watching this team on tv and you maybe you were thinking like how can I, or in what world will I meet um, Lewandowski? In what world will I meet um, Rafinha and the rest? And now you are training with them. They are running, you are running. You are seeing them face to face. Wow. So today he trained with them. And in the video that FC Barcelona posted, um, when the players were entering the field for the training sessions, we saw our fantastic brother David Odro in that particular um, team. In fact, it's not he's not the only Barca Athletic player who trained with the first team. The likes of no one David and some other players also trained with the first team. But of course, he's our focus. So David Odro training with the FC Barcelona first team in a remarkable fashion. It is the second time training with the first team. His second time. The first time he went with Aziz Isa. Yes, but this time Aziz Isa wasn't part of the first team. Aziz, don't worry at all. Just keep going, okay? Keep going. Definitely your time go rich. Uh, football there. Yeah. Any life, I'm going to say it here. And then I was all be the kind. He said, yeah, we're the kind of Barca, no? A lot of your mates are still in Ghana here. Do you get a point? Uh-huh. We're the kind of Barca. It doesn't mean anything. When you get your chance, you'll be able to stay in the first team and not just be training with them. So don't worry at all. As easy as support your brother David. Not Bibia and Kama or have a big name player, Kremi Krano Akaze. Please, I want my brother Azizisa with me. Otherwise, I will not sign the contract. So, uh, support your brother. Is that not it? Good, 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 good. Now, in other good news, uh, Mohamed Salisu is part of the squad that AS Monaco will be using for their game versus Brest tomorrow in the French League. Ah, tomorrow AS Monaco will be playing versus Brest in the French League. Ah, those the two teams will be playing in the UEFA Champions League in the midweek. So indeed, they have to play their game on Friday, and that's how things are. Uh, Mohamed Salisu got injured in Ghana versus uh, Sudan, the second leg, and he has not played football since then. Yes, last uh, the last time he was in the squad of FC AS Monaco, but he didn't play any minutes in that game. And then this time he's in the squad. I'm sure he is fully fit and he will play some minutes for AS Monaco. That's a very very good news for the Black Stars player Mohamed Salisu since he was out. You know. Actually, they've been conceding, uh, they've been conceding and even struggling to win. So uh, maybe this time that he's back, things will go well for AS Monaco uh, over there. Now, this one there, we've already told you before, but let's reiterate. Is that not it? Yes, let's reiterate. Three Ghanaian lead um, the Premier League in successful dribbles this season. The first player is Abdul Fattah Wishahaku, who has had an ACL injury. He has 29 dribbles. And then Mohamed Kuruz has 28 dribbles. Antoine Zebenyo has 24 dribbles. So three Ghanaian leading, um, Ghanaians leading the, this the English Premier League dribbles lock. Yes, but unfortunately, Abdul Fattah Wishahaku has had um an acl injury and his season is over so it means that the other players have the chance to overtake the ghanaian player abdul fatah Shaku. leicester city's manager is steve cooper when he was speaking on the acl injury of fatah Shaku, he says that leicester city promise support in every way for fatah um he's a young player and having an acl injury can quite can be quite common 
Um, it's part of football, but it's still a serious injury. For it to happen at a young age, it's a blow for him and a blow for us. Um, we've very much now got to support him in every way we can to make sure his, re his rehab is as smooth and as productive as possible. We hope we he can make come back a stronger player and person. Um, we were... All right, we were play, um, enjoying being on his journey in the Premier League and he was showing the potential he has. Um, it's only a pause. We will make sure, as difficult as this is for him, that he comes back being a stronger player and person. With the mentality he has, I think that will be the case. So, uh, Fatah Isaku has an ACL. No. Right now, if you get small knee injury, be an ACL. Hey, Charlie, my first man is your horse, Anna. Right now, any player be an ACL. It's, what is this? It's, 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 hey, small team be an ACL. <laughs> so he will be out for the rest of the season. If we will see Fatal Shaku, it will be next season. Um, next season for Leicester City. So let's 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 hope and, and pray for our Ghanaian player. We we'll hope everything will be fine. All right, good. Oh, Tuando. Uh, every last last coach there until after Wednesday when they finally decide that he's staying we cannot stop talking about him is, is that not it yet we have to still talk about him now this is the situation Otuado in competitive matches as a black stars coach competitive matches friendly matches are not part now 15 matches he's played he has 4 wins 19 goals scored 6 draws and then five losses so the losses are more than the wins the draws are also more than the wins the losses and draws together are about two times more than the wins his win percentage is 26.7 percent win percentage he has scored 19 goals the black stars team have scored 19 goals under Otuado, and we've considered 20 goals so minus one on top of all of this he failed to qualify for the afcon and we have people who say that we don't need to sack this guy hey already we don't need to sack this man also, sometimes I don't understand certain people. What is he doing that we have to give him time for him to do it? What is he doing? We, me, I don't understand. What is Coach Otuado doing? Just let me understand. What project? What Pep Guardiola told all of us. Oh, Pep Guardiola told us that there is no project anywhere. No coach can convince anybody that he's doing a project if you don't win. So if you are not winning, you are not doing a project. The basic requirement for any project, for any coach, is winning. Is winning. Now, when you talk about Otuado, they mostly bring Ali Usise. Hey, Ali Usise this. Ali Usise, the Senegal gave him a lot of time. Well, Ali Usise never failed to qualify Senegal to the Afcon. Per what I know, I stand to be corrected. But I don't, I don't, I don't remember Ali Usise failing to qualify Senegal to the Afcon. He always qualified them to the Afcon. Afcon, an Afcon qualification for Ghana, for Senegal, for Ivory Coast, for Egypt. That is a basic, the basic requirement for Cameroon and the rest. It's the basic requirement for any coach. So if you you cannot qualify to the Afcon, you are you are sad. Now, why should we be entertaining this thing? If you look at this scorecard, and on top of this scorecard, he failed to qualify for African Cup of Nations 2025. And he will still be there because of what? Because of what? Well, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for staying with us. subscribers for YouTube. A cock a cra, let me be a media meet my I don't know. Ghana Football Association and a could have power not to do what is right for the people of Ghana. If they fail to do it, they are we don't know what to do again. Thank you very much for staying. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.